what like things like the film allowed Green Lantern to do is come alive for real. You see the constructs come to life. You see that energy dissipate. You hear the sounds. You know, you see the big scopes of Oa and Xamarin and all these other planets. There's something about Hal Jordan himself because unlike every other superhero, Hal Jordan and Green Lantern are essentially the same. He is a bit of a throwback character. Hal. He comes from that generation of the right stuff. He is a daredevil. He's a guy who leaps first and then thinks on the way down. There's something I really love about his gut instinct. Your name? Hal Jordan. The ring chose you. I think Hal is, a, is an incredible superhero and a unique Green Lantern because he brings something to the table that the other core can't and that he's willing to face his fear and admit that it exists and use it in order to, to become the greatest Green Lantern of them all. Ryan Reynolds is the perfect Hal Jordan for me. He has that humor, he has that swagger, that cockiness. When the chips are down, he really gets serious. He really steps up to the plate. The ring said it was a great responsibility. Responsibility? You? Let's hope so. Well, the great thing about Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters is that there was a lot of time and energy and effort spent on making sure that it didn't repeat the movie. It's like watching the movie, but you get to actually control it. It's kind of cool, I think, for people that are, you know, that love the movie and people that haven't even seen the movie yet. The main storyline for Green Lantern, the Rise of the Manhunters, begins actually many, many years ago because the Guardians had created their first police force, which were the Manhunters. They didn't work out. They sort of went rogue. So the Guardians discarded them and created the actual Green Lantern Corps. But now the Manhunters have come back and they intend to destroy the Guardians and the Green Lanterns. I think it's going to appeal to Green Lantern fans because it's almost like getting a sequel. It's the character that we know from the film, but it's uh, set in a whole new world with whole new threats. And you know, I think that they're going to love that. I think, uh, I think that the, the Manhunters in the video game are pretty damn interesting. I mean, I almost wish that they were in the movie as well. They're, they're pretty cool. The whole concept of Green Lantern is perfect for a video game because the ring uses energy, the ring needs to be recharged, the ring creates all these different constructs, the ring can let you fly, it can protect you. It's just perfect for a video game. One of the strengths of Hal Jordan and all the Green Lanterns is that they create all these images from their rings. They create these things that are uh, weapons and other forms. That is so great within the context of video games. The best part about it is co-opting with Sinestro because if you're a fan, you know where that relationship ultimately leads. So in this film and in this video game, the experience of Hal and Sinestro working side by side together, there's a whole story behind that. There's a whole emotional depth to it. Everybody's bringing Green Lantern to a whole nother level through what they do, through the film, through the video game, through everything that's happening outside the comics. It just adds a whole nother depth to the Green Lantern.